If all you're doing is watching my latest video uploads, you're missing hundreds of videos Green Wacky has. I'm a live streamer, but I have comedy skits like Saturday Night Live. I've got over 30 music videos like Weird Al and Crazy Stuff, how-to videos on cars, boats, motorcycles, random videos. I've got how to do YouTube right, how to grow your channel, how to do computers, OBS. I've got it all. Playlist, playlist, playlist. Hello, YouTube audience. You asked for it. I'm going to deliver. It's Green Bay Wacky. Um, I'll try to make this as quickly as possible, rush through it. Um, Google Hangouts is going away in August. Now, what does that mean? Uh, you know, we're used to live streaming from Google Hangouts where we have a panel, okay? Now, I think the camera option on YouTube is still going to be there to do an individual live stream, okay? I don't think that's going to go away, but I, I can't confirm that. So this video is to show you a viable option for doing a panel live stream where you want to have guests. I'm choosing Zoom. A lot of my friends are choosing Zoom. It's stable. It's clear. I love it. I'm an advocate for it. They, Zoom, you should pay me for this video. Maybe they will someday. Uh, I'll be their spokesperson. Okay. Let me tell you what I know about Zoom, what I don't know about Zoom, what I've learned about Zoom. I've been using it for about a week now. Um, number one question people are asking. Let me answer it immediately. Uh, people are saying, do I need the paid version of Zoom to go up on someone's panel that's using Zoom? The answer is no. You only need the free version to actually be a guest. You need the paid version, to the best of my knowledge, uh, to live stream directly from Zoom um, onto YouTube or a different platform. Um, let me kind of, that's what this video is going to be, to show you how to do that quickly. It's very quick. Um, another thing, okay, let me talk about what I know about that. And I'm not going to do a tutorial here on how to get the backgrounds on Zoom and all that stuff. Uh, one thing I uh, can't seem to, I talk to Zoom, you can't do it. You can only have a solid background, you can't have an animated one like with OBS, but there's some workarounds and I'll tell you kind of about that quickly. Um, free version, paid version, okay, here's the deal. What is the paid version, how much does it cost, what's it all about? Paid version's $14.99 a month, 15 bucks. I know that's a lot to some of you, I know, it's a lot to me. Uh, but I live stream enough, I think I can justify that fee. Um, here's the difference. Okay, the free version of Zoom only allows you to host a meeting. Like, this is actually a meeting I'm in right now. Zoom is actually like a meeting platform for business. So you can have, with a paid version, up to 49 people in the room. Um, so I could do like a webinar, you know, like, um, let's say I invite 49 people in and we want to do an afternoon conference on how to grow our YouTube channel, how to be a funny comedian. You know, no, just kidding. Um, so it's a meeting platform. It's not necessarily a live streaming platform. It just does that. Um, okay, so limitation of the free version, number one. If uh, you are the host, like you're hosting a meeting like this, free version, you only get 40 minutes. Now that's it, 40 minutes, and then boom, it cuts out. Um, the paid version the $15 a month, and it's not a contract, by the way, it's month to month, so you can try it for a month, if you like it, keep it, obviously, um, so it's not a contract, you're not signing up, you know, you're not signing your life away. Um, now, some of my friends have said that Zoom has been offering them a couple times to go beyond the 40 minutes on the free version, I can't guarantee you that every single meeting, every single time, you'll be able to do that. The paid version, you can do up to 24 hours, who in their right mind is going to live stream for 24 hours? Well, I did once for 41 hours, um, but uh, never again. Oh, my goodness. Um, but that's important. That's an important feature. Here's the other thing I've learned. To the best of my knowledge, you're welcome to try what you're going to see after my intro here on your free version, but I've, you know, the best of my knowledge. Um, you have to have the pro or above, that's the $15 membership per month, to actually live stream from Zoom right to YouTube. The free version does not allow you to actually do the live stream. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Now, there's a workaround for that. The workaround, and this is actually the way I do it. I'm still using the paid version of Zoom because I don't want the 40-minute limit. I want 49 people possible up on the panel. Um, the workaround is I have a video on my channel. Go to my homepage. Go to my videos. Check OBS. I made a video how to have a panel, Google Hangout panel, up in OBS, right? Now, it's the exact same ver way for Zoom, the only difference is your window capture won't be Google Hangout, it will be um, this, the Zoom. So there is a workaround. The workaround to do it free, but you'll still have that 40 minute limitation. Uh, but that would be good if you're doing a short live stream. 
you would have OBS open, you'd have your free, you know, your free OBS, your free Zoom, and you would then do your live stream through your OBS showing the window capture of the Zoom. That's your workaround if you want to do it for free. Now, the paid version, again, you can go directly from Zoom right into YouTube. Um, I love Zoom. I love it. It's crisp. It's stable. It's clear. It has so many features. I'll do some upcoming videos on it. Fun stuff that your panel guest members get to do. But let me just get you online with Zoom. Now, this is the video you're going to see from here forward. It's going to be you have to buy the paid version to live stream on YouTube, 15 bucks a month. So what you're going to see from here forward, and I'll explain. I'm going to show you their website and all that. Um, $15 a month to get online monthly with Zoom. Okay. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Nope. We mentioned that you can go onto panels with free, free. Nope. I think we're good. Okay. Let's get started with the basics. Go to zoom.com. Z O O M.com. That's your first mission. Your second mission. When you get to the website, you're going to have to create an account. So try to sign in, create an account. You know, the drill, create an account. Now remember, you can choose a free account, but you're gonna be limited, like my intro mentioned. You'll want the $14.99 per month plan in order to live stream directly from Zoom. You'll have to unfortunately have a credit card, whip it out, 15 bucks a month, no contract. Now, once you've created your account, you're gonna to have to go into it, and you're gonna to come to your profile here. Now, at some point, you're gonna to have to download Zoom, but Zoom's gonna prompt you to do that because it's not gonna allow you to open your room or anything like that. Don't worry about that, but you will have to download Zoom at some point. The next step is to click on meetings. You see how we've clicked on meetings. Keep following along here. Next, click on settings. Now that you're in settings, you'll have to scroll down and it's way down at the bottom. And you see where it says allow live streaming the meetings You'll have to move that slider over so it becomes blue, okay? This is where you're enabling that you are going to live stream your meetings. Now that you've enabled that you're going to live stream, you're going to broadcast your meetings, go up to the top where it says host a meeting. You're going to host a meeting. The menu is going to drop down. You're going to have those options, video on, video off, you know, all that. Do it with the video on because you can turn your camera off within your meeting anyway. So do it with the video on. Now, when you're opening your meeting, your room, call it whatever you want, they call it meetings, you'll get this message, just open Zoom meetings, okay? You're almost into your room. Then you should now be in your room, like I'm in my room. Now, this is something important. You see the menu at the bottom there? That's gonna be invisible to you at first. You have to roll put your cursor, you know, with your mouse down to the bottom of the screen and that invisible menu is going to pop up. That's where you can tell the computer where your which microphone you want to use, which camera you want to use, invite people, all that stuff. But that's not what we're interested to go live. What we're interested in is the three dots down to the right that say more. Okay, that's your next mission. Believe it or not, we're getting there. Now you want to click on those three dots and you see the menu comes up for YouTube. That's the one you want to click on, the YouTube, live on YouTube. Now this is where you're going to have to allow Zoom. You're going to have to click allow. It's going to bring you to this screen. Now it works best if you're signed into your Google account when you're doing this Zoom and then it'll have it here. So you're going to have to allow it. There's more to this screen. I'm just not showing you because my own personal information, come on. But you're going to have to allow it. You're going to have to click allow. You'll see. Now you're at the final screen up there where it says Green Bay Wacky Zoom Meeting. Change your title if you want or just leave it, whatever you want. And you can see, go live. You click that go live, boom, you are live on YouTube. You have now gone live with Zoom. Now, once your live stream is done, here's the important thing or your live stream meeting will go forever. In that room that you're in, down in the far right, It'll say end meeting, end meeting. So that's how you end your live stream once you're done. End meeting, lower right corner of your room that you're in. And that's it. You are now live on YouTube. Now in Zoom, you can schedule a meeting ahead of time. 
but I don't think that will alert your YouTube audience because that's just within Zoom. Now what I'm going to show you right now is not confirmed. This is a maybe. I cannot confirm this. I'm not sure if you can go under live streaming under your events, create a new event and schedule a meeting with custom. Let me kind of show you what that looks like. Yeah, by going into your live streaming there in your creator studio, you click on uh, events, schedule a new event. And in that event, that's where you pick your, you know, your normal Google thing, or you notice that I have that black dot on custom. Custom would be when you're going to use something like OBS. So I cannot confirm the final chapter of this video, whether or not you can schedule events using the Zoom. I will test that and you'll know because I'll tell you on a live stream. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share it. People have to know about this. Share it. We've got to get live with panels. We need a viable option. Zoom is it. Zoom is great. Green Bay Wacky, out.